Welcome to part two of my YouTube series where I show you guys how to start a YouTube channel, how to grow, how to actually get subscribers, gain your watch hours, etc. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to actually set up your YouTube studio. This is one thing you need to do before you even upload your first YouTube video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sia Tarawali. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I post tech reviews. I show you how to use your tech. I post tips and tricks for content creators. So anything around tech, content creation, any questions you have, I am here to answer it to the best of my ability. So if that's something you're looking for, you're looking for a creator that basically has the answers to a lot of things, a lot of questions you guys have out there, definitely go ahead and check out the other videos that I have on my page and subscribe. Turn on your post notification for any future videos that I do post. And just to remind you guys, I am filming this series on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 because I want when someone comes to my channel and they're like, oh, I want to see what the quality looks like on the camera. This is going to be like the playlist you want to come to. If you have not checked out part one of my video, go ahead and check that out where I tell you guys like the basic steps in order to even like think about starting a YouTube channel. Before we get into the whole YouTube studio aspect, I just want to say for you to be able to use the full YouTube studio, not the one you can download on your phone or your iPad. It's not going to give you the full YouTube studio experience that you're going to have on a laptop or a desktop. You do need like the full experience for you to actually customize your channel how you want it. So I am going to say one of the things that you need to have is a laptop. If you do not have a laptop right now, if you have a friend that has a laptop, try using that and just like customize your channel the way you need to. So for this video, I'm actually going to use my little sister's YouTube as an example. She wants to start posting videos. If I was starting out today, how am I going to set up my YouTube studio in order to just have amazing keywords, SEO and all that. So let's get into it. All right, you guys. So of course we're going to use Google Chrome. I'm going to pull up my YouTube studios just as like a side example. So you guys can see the difference between my YouTube channel that is like set up and everything is pretty much like optimized. I'm pretty sure, you know, over time, there's probably going to be more things that I can probably do to make it even better. But but for now, I think it's set up to a way where, you know, my channel can gain at least a few subscribers a day. To start, we're just going to use hers and that should pretty much just like do the job, you know? So let's go to YouTube and go to her YouTube studio. You don't have to go through this long route that I'm doing. Honestly, you can just like go to Google, just type YouTube studio and it's just going to pull up your YouTube studio based on the profile that you already have on Google Chrome. Okay, so here is her YouTube studio. She has zero subscribers there's nothing here i already started the process of like optimizing her channel i have them side by side this is mine on the right um this is my sister's on the left we're gonna start with settings you want to come over here you guys can see my mouse i need you guys to follow the mouse you're gonna come to settings over here click on that now you want to go to channel and then you're gonna have to choose your country of residence where are you staying united states is where i stay i'm just gonna choose united states like i already did for my sister's channel so u.s if you live in Canada, choose Canada. If you live in the UK, choose UK. Wherever you live, just choose that. Now, this is where you want to put what your channel is about. One of the things that I do recommend is you want to make sure you put your name. Even though your name is not out there yet and people don't know who you are, but you're trying to build that. So you want to make sure you have your name in your keywords. As you make videos, as you post your videos, as people get to know you, whenever they search your name, it's going to come up. Also, if you do have a faceless channel, a lot of people have like a faceless channel. They have a channel where they don't have their actual name there. They have like a separate name. I will still recommend put your actual name in your keywords because let's say you go to like a conference and you meet someone and you guys are talking and you're like, oh, I have a YouTube channel. And maybe you guys never got to the stage where you were able to like give out your YouTube channel name and all that. If they just know your first and last name and they go on YouTube and put that in, your channel is still going to come up. Even though you don't have your name, as your channel name is going to come up and based on the conversations that you guys had about maybe what your channel was about they're going to say oh, okay this is her channel this is his channel so you want to make sure you always have your name or whatever name people call you you want to make sure you have that in your keywords another thing that i recommend is whatever channel that you admire big channels of course whatever channel that you love to watch whatever channel maybe inspired you to start a youtube channel i will recommend when you're starting out you kind of need the help you kind of 
of need the boost, put their channel name over here. So I do tech videos. I do content creation videos. There's a lot of people who have started this way before me. Even though my YouTube obviously is quite different from like what they do, it's kind of like I'm tutoring you guys. I'm showing you exactly step by step. And a lot of these channels, maybe they just do like tech reviews and just call it a day. But still, let's say Think Media, they're like, like the first people that come to mind because I have watched their channel like crazy. MKBHD is another person that comes to mind. So let's say I'm starting out this channel. I can put like MKBHD. I have to say the letters one at a time because it confuses me sometimes. Don't put keywords that make no sense. You don't want to put tech keywords when you're not creating tech videos. If you're doing vlogs, you want to put vlog, daily vlogs, day in my life videos. You want to put things that make sense. If you need help, you're not really sure. You can go to um, a website called rapidtags.io and just like put in a title, maybe put in like vlog videos or something and it will give you tags. You can copy that and put it over here. You can also just simply go on YouTube and just research like what people search for when it comes to your niche and copy that and put it over here. And also, as you change your niche, because listen, you can always sit down today and say, okay, I am tired of posting fashion videos and maybe now you want to do something else. You can go ahead and come back here and change your keywords. So now when people search things in that niche, your channel is going to like pop up. So yeah, after you do this, you want to go over here to advanced settings. And now over here, you want to choose your audience. If you have a kid's channel, you can say, yes, set this channel as made for kids. When you do stuff like this, you YouTube is automatically going to turn off your comments because obviously you said the channel is made for kids. So they just want to kind of protect that. I don't know. You guys know the internet and how people get. But if you're an adult and you have a channel, obviously you want you want to like have comments on your videos and you want YouTube to categorize your videos properly and like push it to whoever they need to push it to. So you want to do no, set this channel as not made for kids. And this is where you want to preset everything and just forget about it. About it. So you want to do no. So whenever you're uploading your videos, it's already set to where you need it to be set to. Now you want to click this next one over here. When you come here, the standard features, they're, they're always already enabled. So you want to make sure you enable this. In order for you to use the second one, which gives you access to videos longer than 15 minutes, custom thumbnails, live streaming, you need to verify your phone number. So you're going to have something over here, like a blue button that you need to press, and then it's going to take you to like a separate pay put in your phone number it's going to send you a code to your phone the phone number that you put in of course and then you have to put in that code and that's it and now the next thing you want to do is number three you just want to read what that's about what you need you need to have the second one enabled which we already do and it's you know it has a check mark right there and then you need to have a channel history for this to be enabled also so she currently does not have a channel history she doesn't have any videos on there no comments nothing going on so one once you start posting your videos and really like building up your channel history, then this is going to be like enabled. Let me show you guys exactly what that looks like on my channel. I'm going to go to settings over here and then we're going to go over here. So I have all three enabled because well, I've been posting on this channel for almost a year now. After you're done doing all that, you want to make sure you go through one, two, three, do all the steps I just showed you guys. And then now you want to save it. And then of course it's going to like go away, but you want to go back to settings because because you still have more things that you need to do. Now you want to go to upload default. In this section, what I want you guys to do is your description. Copy the links to your social media accounts and like put it there. A lot of people honestly don't even read descriptions nowadays, but your description is for the algorithm. So you can preset some hashtags if you want to. I feel like if you do vlogs, a lot of times you're doing vlogs around the same thing, maybe motherhood or like fashion, maybe cleaning videos. If you have a niche like that, you can kind of preset some hashtags and stuff like that. But also you can put your social medias. What I did on my channel is is I'm gonna go to settings, upload default. This is what my preset looks like. So I have my Amazon storefront. I have my main social media accounts right there. So if I have someone subscribe to my channel and they love my video and they wanna like check me out on like Instagram, TikTok, whatever platform, they can come to my description and it's right there and they 
you can like click the link and just follow me. So this that you see over here, these are actually links. All they have to do is just click it and it takes them right there. So yeah, your description, you want to do that. And then for visibility, I always recommend private. You don't want to do public because when you do upload your videos, you want to make sure YouTube, like they check for copyrights. Your video is uploaded in like 4K. Everything is just like great, amazing. And then after that, you can like put it to public or if you're uploading your video the day before, you can honestly just like schedule your video when you're doing the upload. But for over here, you want to preset this to private. So you don't ever mistakenly post a video publicly that you did not mean to do. Now let's go to tags. Tags are kind of like keywords, but for like specific videos that you post. So your keywords that I showed you guys previously is basically what is your overall like channel about? Maybe you post motherhood vlogs, you post um fashion video. You can put like all these different keywords right there. So when someone goes on YouTube and they look up this, 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 your channel is going to come up. Now for tags, I don't recommend presetting like all your tags. You can put like the basic ones. You can put your name. Again, I always recommend your name in your tags, in your keywords, put your name because you want to build your name up. Put one of the main things your channel is going to be about. My sister says she wants to do like chit chat videos. So chit chat is right there. So you can put vlogs now, whenever she's uploading a video, she's just going to have these three in the tags already and then now all she has to do is just add like the remaining tag and what exactly she's talking about in the video let's go to advanced settings over here the only thing i want you guys to pay attention to is the comments you want to make sure that is on you can turn it off you can say restrict the comments you can say hold all comments where you have to basically approve the comments but i mean if you have a channel you want to receive feedback and all that you can always delete any rude comments but just make sure this is on and then now all you have to do is just save and then that's it. Now, the next place I want you to go after you leave the settings is now you need to customize your YouTube channel. This is where you're going to put your profile picture. This is where you're going to put your banner. This is where you're going to put um, your trailer for your channel. This is where you're going to put like everything you want people to know about you, your website, in your web, like your website. You can have a general like link in bio stuff and have your social medias in there also. And you can just paste that on there your about section so telling people what you know your channel is about don't make your about section about you make it about what your channel is about you can kind of introduce yourself just a little bit it's kind of like you going to a job interview and they ask you tell me about yourself and then you're like oh hi my name is Sia I'm a stay-at-home mom of two I'm married I love to cook I love to sing I love making videos that's not what they're asking you because you know tell me about yourself that is about you but that's not what it means what it means is you you need to speak about okay maybe your your like work journey like what have you been doing what has been your career path that's the same way i want you guys to look at it when it comes to you putting stuff in the about section now if you're a little bit confused on like how to say it how to word it your best friend is going to be chat gpt you guys don't sleep on chat gpt okay it's going to sound like a robot telling you what to say and what to do now this is where you come in whatever it gives you you're gonna copy it put it in your notes app read it over and over and edit whatever it gives you now let's go to customization the layout we're going to come to that last for now let's go to branding this is where you want to put your profile picture this profile picture that she has right now we're going to have to change that this is not a youtube profile picture in my opinion this is a picture you post on instagram so you want to make sure you have a picture of your face on your youtube channel you can maybe have a full body picture but make sure you're standing and your face is like the main attraction here have a profile picture like mine this profile picture is amazing you come to my channel you see my face you know what i look like you know to the point the next thing you want to upload is your banner image you can make stuff like this on canva hire someone on fiverr if you don't really want to like do stuff like that you can also buy like templates on etsy like there's so many different ways you can go about that or you can simply just make yours canva they have a lot of like pre-made templates all you have to do is just like upload your picture put whatever types of videos you're going to be uploading what days you want to be posting, all that. Come over here, upload it, and you're good. Also, the next thing is your
your video watermark. This is not like a do or die, to be honest. You don't necessarily need to have a video watermark. It's kind of good to have, I will say, especially if you have someone who, maybe they're watching your video from their laptop. When they put their mouse over your like watermark on your video, they can basically just like subscribe right there. But like I said, this is honestly not like a do or die. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But I mean, for the sake of it, just do it, okay? It's not gonna break you, none of that. When you're starting out your channel, definitely have a profile picture, definitely have your banner and all that. This, you can do it later. Let's go to basic info. This is where you wanna have your name. So what name do you wanna give your channel? On my channel, I have my name. She has her name right there. Now on YouTube, you also have ads, just like Instagram, TikTok and all that. Yeah, you can just put at this person. If someone comes on YouTube and they put at your name, it's gonna pop up. So this is your handle, which is really cool. They also have pronouns. So you can put your pronouns right there. Who do you want it to be visible to? Everyone, only my subscribers. Just choose everyone. Um, I mean, you can do only your subscribers if you want, but you know, you want people to know basically how to address you. The next thing you wanna go to is your description. This is your about section. After your description, the only other place you wanna go to is where it says email address you want to put an email address where if a brand comes across your page or like just like anybody serious who maybe wants to work with you that's the email they're gonna like reach out to you through so put an email address that you have access to and you know you know you're probably never going to change and you're never going to like lose access to it put that email address right there and just leave it alone when you're done putting all that information in now let's go to layout your layout is really for after you start posting videos after you really like get your channel going this is where you want to come to just like make your page I guess aesthetically pleasing and just put whatever you want to put for your channel trailer which I have to do that too I will suggest just like create like a short video maybe like a five minute video just introducing yourself telling people who you are why you started your channel kind of like your description but in video form and then when you upload that to your channel you can add it right there as you can see when I click on add, she has no videos right now. So it's not letting me choose anything. So yeah, this is really what your layout is about. This is not something you have to worry about when you just like set in your channel. This is where you come last. After you've started uploading videos, then you can come here and do what you need to do and then just click publish. So when you're just starting out, just come here, branding, and then basic info, do whatever it is that you need to do here and then click publish. And that is how you set up your YouTube studio. I hope this video was helpful. If you already set it up and you feel like you made something based on what I said in this video go back check it out add what you need to one thing I really don't want you guys to play with is your keywords make sure you're adding what your channel is about thank you guys so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you're not subscribed yet make sure you go ahead and do that turn on your post notifications I will see you guys in my next video